Eleven years after the expulsion from Gush Katif, we're visiting a construction site. Here, the evacuees are building four synagogues in the community of Nitzan. This is one of the hardest moments for me, to enter the building and see that it's still not done. I place a lot of hope in the decision of the government to provide the funds to finish the building. The excitement regarding the building of the synagogues is great, not just because of the Jewish spiritual aspect, it's also a practical change. After 11 years in temporary solutions, we pray today in a temporary building that's been fixed up. There's no space in there. I don't go pray because there's no room in the women's section. You can't connect to that place. I can't connect there. I can't pray there. It's not right. I wait for the day when we can be here and pray at least as well as we did back in Gush Katif. But why four synagogues? Why not unify everyone? As Chagid explains to us, this diversity expresses true unity. Right now in an Ashkenazic synagogue, but right next to it there is a Moroccan synagogue, a Yemenite synagogue, a Tunisian synagogue, and this whole complex is centered around one main area and one hall. I found a protocol from Neve de Kalim, the original Neve de Kalim, in which a member wrote that when they pray together, one person must needs put his traditions over another person, so they decided to pray each according to his traditions. To me, that's totally appropriate. I want to pray as I did in my father's house, and my neighbor, a Moroccan, wants to pray as he did in his father's house. But when we're done praying, we will all meet together in this joint space, and that is true unity. Especially in the case of a synagogue, the structure is not the main part. Behind us is a space for the Holy Ark. We need to gather the money, gather the resources, so this building isn't just a concrete structure, so that we can buy a Holy Ark as we want it, a place to read the Torah, a place for the cantor, so that we can pray here. Many of the memories from the days of the expulsion include events which occurred in the synagogues, the prayers, the departure, the protest, and also the parting from the communities in the abandoned synagogues. Forgive me for the comparison, but it looked like the face of the dead. The place that had been the center of our lives, we left it abandoned. And yeah, it's a small reminder of what that was like. This will, please God, be different. I pray, I hope, that we'll merit to see this even before the turn of the new year. <laughs>